Hi guys, this is Ta To Leong and in this video, I will show you 10 things that you should know about Ember Spirit. Do hit the subscribe button if you like my Dota 2 content and comment down below what you would like to see next. Enjoy! Number 1. Ember Spirit is by no means a strong laner. There's just too many counters to Ember in the middle lane. But because of that, it opens up opportunities for an outplay. And yes, that is double waving. Flame Guard is an extremely good spell to double wave your opponent and force them to either farm under tower or trade unevenly. Number 2. Ember Spirit has an early power spike at level 6, so you should always choose experience over goal in the early game, which also means that you should prioritize staying alive. Most of the time, you will find yourself at a disadvantage situation in the middle lane, so consider swapping to the side lanes or jungling if the matchup gets too unplayable. Number 3 Dodging the Queen of Pain Poison Dagger is not as easy as it looks like but there is a guideline on how you should do it. You should use Slide of Beast immediately after the Poison Dagger leaves her arm or after you hear the Poison Dagger sound effect. You can also use it when there's a huge creep wave. Number 4. When people see an easy target, this is what they'll usually do. And here is how you should do it. You leave a remnant during your slide of face, fly towards him, and use searing chains afterwards. This way, you won't waste precious chains duration that you can use to kill them. Number 5. When you find yourself in a clutch situation where you don't have any random left or much mana, consider running towards a huge creep wave and do a slide off this TP. Number 6. Buyback in the early game is cheap and with the help of Remnant, you can return to the fight instantly. So consider that option when you find yourself in a very bad situation, and furthermore, this could win you crucial fights and result in objective. Number 7. Shadowblade Ember is one of the innovative ways to play this hero, but it will not work all the time. Here's how the combo goes. Use Shadowblade and as you fade, use Slide of Fist, and you will hit all the targets with bonus damage and come out invisible. Note that if you upgrade to Silver's Edge, this will not work.
Number 8. Bouncing Remnant. To bounce your remnant, leave one remnant behind as you remnant in. Then click on the minimap where you left your first remnant. You should always do this to finish off targets or creep ways when you don't feel completely safe to do so. Number 9. Threatening with Remnant As you get a hit in the game, you will see opportunities where you can get easy kills but you can't really get there. So you should plan a hit and place a Remnant before the target even shows up. So it's either they shows up and die or they hide and not get any farm. Number 10. I don't really know what to call this, but basically it's about using your remnant one at a time so you buy time for your spells to cool down as well as avoid getting clicked on. Oh. Oh, he's dead, dude. I mean, I have all my render ready, ah, you know. He can't heal, he can't heal. Shit. I can. Behind, behind. Oh, last one. Back, back. Oh, we went pretty well. 
<laughs> oh. I think they might come already, Invoker. Let's finish this guy fast. Wait, Invoker's not there, you can fight. Remnant? Apart from all this, there's still many ways you can get creative with the hero. See you inside though. Thanks for watching and good luck yeah. in your Amber games. I got it, Aegis, I got it, Aegis. Come and help you. He can't heal, he can't heal. I'm alive, I'm alive. 